Now that I have been reading the Bible and the Quran, right, I'm starting to be a leery of my own image, right? Because I'm seeing something, right? Like I was at the game, uh, Jacksonville and, and the Baltimore Ravens game. And I seen all these black people come. And then I seen all these white people come. And I'm looking like, well, man, what's going on, right? But I try to tell a friend, and he said, oh, man, you tripping. So now, if I'm in a spiritual warfare, and my familiar friends act like they don't know <laughs> what I'm going through, right? And then I see some strange people in my image. How do I know what's real <laughs> see how do i know because i'm telling my friends i'm saying hey man this happening and they saying man you tripping man that ain't happening and you saying for 15 years bro so i'm saying if i'm in court in a spiritual war and now i have rights that nobody before me had who was in my situation mentally. See, I'm saying people probably have been in my situation, but they took the money. So if they took the money, how could they use the profits in self-defense? See, now they could use the Bible. See what I'm saying? Because everybody right in their own eyes. But if I'm in a spiritual war, right? So see, like these colors I got on. I was um, always shopping at this particular outlet, right? Now, my thing is, why should I stop shopping where I shop that if I'm trying to prove to my grandchildren, right? See, I'm not talking about the world because the world is too big for me. See, I'm talking about my garden. See, my, the one that my wife and I created. See, that's my personal garden, right? So how can I speak to my personal garden if I didn't defeat my personal enemy? See, now I got to go through the world's understanding and it's parted. See, you got Islam, you got Christianity, then you have atheists and you have Jews and you have uh, Hindu, see, you have Buddhist, <laughs> see, so you have all of these different um, uh, practices of faith, and here I am defending my basic rights to my pursuit of happiness. Now, if I'm in a spiritual war, right, then wouldn't... I have to defend the image of a lifestyle. See, because if if my lifestyle I had created was on a something illegal, see, then my enemies who took my lifestyle would have been able to tell you, even if they could fabricate it, they would have said, he see, we caught him doing such and such, such and such. But I, but I know that I did everything. I know how I did it. I know what laws, because I'm telling you my personal testimony, right? Now, I have to tell you the testimony the way I'm telling you because my enemy couldn't fabricate a, a lie on me but now it's it's like black people my friends is lying to me now why then wouldn't i be afraid 
when I'm reading the Bible and I'm looking at Jesus and I'm saying, man, this is why the man sweated blood. He, I'm at a football game. I'm seeing two uh, Star Spangled Banners. They play one at the beginning of the game and one at halftime. I'm like, and the same guy sung the national anthem. It was like they just did, and then they shot the same fireworks up. I'm looking like, then I'm looking at the man fumble the ball. I mean, I, he just laid it down. <laughs> man, come on, man. So I'm saying, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, but now, if I tell a friend what I saw, he say, man, you tripping. Now, I done been in a mental hospital eight times. So you saying that I shouldn't be feeling anxiety from my friends? <laughs> nah, I'm trying to figure out, well, why would my friends act ignorant for 15 years? <laughs> but I'm looking at my family act ignorant too. See, it's like nobody want to admit that I had to go to court to, to prove that the devil stole my house and attacked my way of life. Now, I'm reading the Bible, but I'm not reading the Bible from front to back. And <laughs> see, I'm cherry picking the Bible. I'm saying, listen, I want to know about me because I'm saying I'm in a spiritual war. So I want to know in the spiritual battle, because the spiritual battle been raging on since the Bible, right? And then the Quran came, and that was the Prophet Muhammad's testimony about the, the spiritual war that he saw. But now I'm showing y'all, I'm saying, hey, my spiritual war was a legal battle and it was a mental war before it became a legal victory of mine. I'm saying I was on my job fighting EEO battles. See, I was fighting it with e, um, employee law with the Civil Rights Act of 1964 that Dr. Martin Luther King gave me. So in my mind, right, I was picking up the torch that Dr. Martin Luther King left burning. So, okay, when I read Genesis 3, right, it was talking about when uh, Adam and Eve and the serpent got judged, they put the chambers up there and they put the flame and sword. So now when they say you got to pick up the torch, right? When I would, well, I don't know what they say to you young kids now, right? But uh, back to what I was saying. So they like, okay, they stole my wardrobe, right? From when I was in Lake Mary, when I was once rich, they took all my clothes, <laughs> everything. So I had to build up another wardrobe. And last year, they took it again. So now I go to the outlet, right? And they only have these loud colors, right? So then I'm saying, I wonder if they saying I wouldn't wear these colors. But I'm saying, I never thought colors make a person. <laughs> See, I'm saying, if I like the color, I'm going to wear it. I don't care what you say. I'm living my life, man. Like, I, I don't see. This is what I'm telling you kids, right? To me, ignorance is ignorance, right? So you telling me that a color shows femininity or masculinity. A color. So you saying, so you, saying you can put a color on a feminine dude and then it makes a masculine or you can put what you say is a, so who decides what color is a feminine color like who decided 
oh, that, so, so then now that's how it is? Or is that what that person say? So now I have to live my life to what this person believes? So what's freedom? If I can't wear a color, <laughs> what's freedom? So I'm talking to my great, 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 great. See, because this right here is for prosperity's sake. So now that's why I kept it on saying, see these colors right here? They saying that you wear that and then I got these pants, right? So they see, so they, I'm saying, so are you saying <laughs> that this, that go together is, is, is feminine because it's a color? I'm saying, well, you had it on sale. You done took my money over 15 years. This is polo and this is Levi, right? I'm saying, well, it's name brand. Because I'm making a movie, right? Because I'm saying, okay. But I'm saying, look how I got it together. Look how, the, how, how I'm putting it together. But now I'm explaining it. Because, see, I bought this for to go to the game because I knew I would be in a movie. So I'm saying, okay, I see y'all want the, like the, the colors that I normally buy was too high for me to purchase, right? But they had some stuff. They had this on sale, and I found this shirt to go with it. So I was like, you know, it, sh it should be cold. So I had to dress because I couldn't, I had no more clothes. <laughs> See, this what I'm saying, right? If somebody making a movie out of my life, then... I have to explain the um, wardrobe, right? Like, if you got me in a costume, then I'm saying, hey, you took my jackets, you took my sweaters. You t See, I, I, my partner say, start over. And I'm saying, hey, man, they stole all my clothes, my Rolex watch, <laughs> they, did, they stole it again. Then they say, who? <laughs> Who? I'm saying the state of Florida. Oh, man, be real. <laughs> I'm saying now, nah, bro, they done throw me out of court. I, I can't. I'm saying, so you just going to starve me. Then I'm looking at what black people doing, strangers. I go tell my friends. They tell me that I don't see what I'm seeing. And I'm saying, well, somebody know who I am because I serve them by affidavit. I'm following the law, right? So I'm saying, if I'm fighting a spiritual war and my spiritual enemy tried to take my rights and get me to aid and abet my enemy in taking my rights so my enemy can then put the next phase of his plan or their plan into effect, right? Now, well, I had a plan and I and I worked my plan to legal perfection. See, so now, my enemy would have, is tr where they tried to make a case that they could prove beyond the shadow of a legal doubt. So I had to make a case about them trying to make a case beyond the shadow of a legal doubt. See, see, I had to do it in in um counter. See, that's why it's a counter suit to their crime. See, because if the state of Florida wouldn't have ended in and aided and abetted Bill Heard Chevrolet and still in my 1980 Corvette, then I wouldn't have had to buy a 1981 Corvette to show my children that why would I want to die over a car? <laughs> See, I'm talking to my wife 
and my children through the car. I'm saying, well, hey, man, y'all know I done had this car several times. I used to have two Corvettes. I had a, seven, a 84 that I owned, and I had a, a, a 82 that I owned. And I was 26 years old and I had two Corvettes. See what I'm saying? So now, see, people say, man, it's like I'm bragging. But I'm saying, well, if I'm testifying to my life, how am I bragging if, if I'm testifying to the life that my enemy stole? And now you say, I'm showing you, I'm saying, well, I once had a, a life of prosperity. I once had good credit. My, my credibility was good in my family and my neighborhood. And, and this job, the United States Postal Service, lied on me. And that made my friends and family think I was crazy. But I'm saying, well, what about the six EEOs that I had already um, put against the post office. How did you know that if you didn't talk to me? See, so when I'm reading the Bible, I'm looking at my family and I'm saying, hey man, y'all are Christians. Y'all took up counsel with yourselves, see? And I'm saying, cause you was telling, not, I'm not talking about my wife. I'm not talking about my church, cause they know I don't, believe in that but my family no i don't either but see did they use this to to try to convert me but i'm saying well you just made me a slave i ain't do nothing so now i'm saying if i'm fighting for my rights and somebody of power in the state of florida is lying and they done had people try to set me, get me upset. This been 15 years. Now I'm seeing a bunch of people do it. And I'm saying, so man, I'm reading the Bible. You all lying. I'm telling y'all I'm starving. Y'all see I don't have no money, nothing, man. So what I'm saying is, I'm reading in the Bible where People like you during the time of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee's life wanted to stone him to death because they said that he being a man made himself a God. When the man had abilities to bring Lazarus back from the dead to, to, to have a man who was blind made him able to see and these people kill the man right now if you do your research why america has separated religion from the states is because of winston salem uh north carolina where they used to give people scarlet letters like that's true history man <laughs> they used to call the people witches and they used to throw them in the water and if they drowned they said they wasn't a witch but if they swam out they tracked them down and then hung them this is the religion uh, all the people had to do was say you was a witch. And that's how they proved it. <laughs> so you see, you was dead either way. Because if you could swim and you didn't drown, then they track you down and hung you. <laughs> so you had to die. This is what this is why people came and started saying, man, people was lying on people. They didn't like you. All they had to do was say you was a witch, man. And they, I seen them practicing witchcraft. <laughs> so when you actually do your research, man, you see that these people is crazy, man. They live out of a book.
so okay if you read a recipe and you just read it and you do not get the ingredients and make the dish then how would you know how the dish tastes that you read about if all you ever do is read it so if you have a life then you have existence. But now, if you do not create a lifestyle to live, you still have existence, but no lifestyle. See, so now you look at other people's lives and now you become jealous of their lifestyle. See, because people tell you, oh, they got that off of slavery. See, but how? How did they get theirs off of slavery? Because people done became poor and people done became rich. So it's not off of slavery no more. Now, that's the beginning of it. But how can you keep blaming 200 years ago for 200 years later. Cause some kind of way we got to where we at. Somebody led us here. So now what I'm saying to poor people, what was I supposed to do when my rights was being attacked? I had to defend my rights. Now, how could I defend my lifestyle if I didn't defend my rights. Because everybody in my family, see, they believed that I did something wrong. So when I went in the court, which would have allowed my family, see if the judges would have protected the Florida Constitution instead of protecting Bill Heard, Chevrolet, the United States Postal Service, uh, SunTrust Bank, see, they protected the entities and not the people. Because if they, if the, if the judges would have protected the people, they would have protected me. See, but they protected what made them. See, the people with the money is who invested in them to be the judges. Because see, politics is about donations, money. See, it's who can collect the most money. So basically, if it's about the money, then how is it about protecting the process? See, so what I'm doing is this country gave me an oath when I was 18 years old to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So that means that the founding fathers who wrote the Constitution and who gave the military ordained, see, because when you go in the military, you become ordained to, to, to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. See, so now, if you gave me a, an oath and I upheld the oath, then what then are you, uh, what authority do you have if you violated your oath? See, it's not me versus them, it's me versus you. See, that's what I was telling the judge. I'm saying, well, I'm defending my constitutional rights. What constitution are you defending you you're not supposed to be defending your constitutional rights you the judge you supposed to be defending the constitution you're not supposed to be picking who rights you going to defend so now once the judge decided to defend bill heard chevrolet then when i was attacked outside of the courts that's why i charged them as indicted co-conspirators under the same crime see 
So that's why I get the Black's Law Dictionary and I define the crime. See, just like a preacher would go and get the Bible and tell you what chapter and what verse God's speaking to you out of. But what I'm saying is if God has already written, then God has already spoke on that situation. And so now you, the situation has so many different dimensions because it is seen from the eyes of everyone that hears it. See what I'm saying? So once you hear it, then you see what you heard. Now, if you're not taught how to see it, then you only taught how to hear it. So now you become blind to it because you're taught that you can't do nothing about it. See what I'm saying? Now, if you're taught about the person who is in that Bible doing, see, that's what even Jesus said. Now I have given you the power to cast out evil spirits. So see, if you read that, from Jesus' perspective, then he's saying that if you believe as he believed, you can do what he did. Now, when I now, who have fought my devil, who was trying to enter into my mental garden and send me over the cliff, see what I'm saying? Then I saw where, hey, well, this is what Jesus was saying. Well, why would I let the devil into my mind? Why would I not use my mind to get the devil out of your mind? Because that's what I'm doing now. I'm showing you. Now I'm saying, so now what you trying to say that I'm gay because I'm wearing colors, but I'm saying, okay, now, now I'm explaining why I got this on. The crime it was committed last December when I was at 940 West Canton, apartment A110 in Winter Park, Florida, 32789. See, that's the address of the crime scene where they stole my Rolex watches. Well, I had one Rolex watch, then I had a, a, a bunch of wood watches and then I had some, so, uh, a gold watch. I have uh, uh, a gold uh, pendant for my company. See, they stole all that stuff again. The Winter Park Police Department, they say they just took my stuff and throwed it out and let people come take it, right? All my clothes, everything. So now, it's cold. I got to go shop for the season, but now I'm running out of money. So what am I supposed to do? Not have warm clothes because of the color? So see, this is what I'm saying. If this generation is watching something happen, but then my friends and family telling me that what's happening to me not really happening, <laughs> And now 15 years of my real life, going on 16 years, in two weeks, I'm about, I'm gonna be 55. This started, I was 39, and my friends, family, and the state of Florida saying that everything that happened to me personally is not relevant to what's happening to me personally now. And I'm saying, well, you telling me that you sending me, the United States Postal Service sending me zero checks for two years, eight months, D didn't, wasn't the cause of me not being able to pay my mortgage. But then SunTrust Bank, who I owed the mortgage to, said that I put, uh, gave them a bad appraisal. And I'm saying, man, I got two permits from Seminole County showing that I put, my wife and I 
put an addition on our home. I got the Seminole County Permitting Office as a as a witness to SunTrust Bank taking some bad appraisal instead of listening to the 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 building permit and people tell them that this place exists and when the footer was laid when the blocks was laid when the roof was put on when the trusses was put on it's all there like a puzzle so you saying like so now here my friends it, i'm saying so are you saying that we didn't put the addition on the home then you oh man that's over I'm saying, okay, bruh, it's over, but you, but they gonna just take my house. Well, you letting them take the house. <laughs> I'm saying, well, how I'm letting them take the house if I'm in court using my rights to defend my home. But now my friend come in and tell me, well, you can't do it the way you doing it. So I say, okay, friend, well, now, Help me, show me how to do it. Oh, well, I don't know <laughs> what, huh? See, now, nah, but I'm the one in the mental hospital eight times for over 15 year going on 16 year span. So now you telling me that to, to, to be warm and to, to have something in this movie scene that I'm making because I'm saying, hey, these people said I was crazy and I made it to the game on a ticket I bought and I'm in this, in this, um, in this event. I'm not in prison. So I'm saying to my great grandchildren and great grandchildren, I'm saying, see, granddaddy never gave up on his way of life. Now, the colors are something that, you know, I wouldn't have just automatically because it's too loud for me. But I'm saying now my life is loud. So if you're going to set me apart, then I'm going to be set apart. But I'm showing my grandchildren don't let nobody make you feel some kind of way about yourself, man. You supposed to exude inner beauty. And once you exude it, then you're going to, it's going to emit. See, you're going to, it's going to just come out of your pores and you, it's going to be like a glow. See, because you got your own style. See, that, and, 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 and people get jealous of people who have charisma and, 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 um, cause you know, they, you know, I, I don't know, man, maybe people don't have, um, the gift, the gab, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> saying like they can't talk to a woman or a man or whatever, you know, a business associate and get their point across. So some of them have to use, uh, resources instead of skills. See what I'm saying? When you have the skills to to get people to to do what needs to be done, then those who have resources then use those resources because they have no skills. See what I'm saying? See, that's why if you are born to do something, I believe your purpose becomes your compass because that's what happened with me see i didn't want to do it right i had no choice so then when i got through all of the legal maneuvers then they started settling with me but it took a year and eight months and i had to open two cases and then they didn't want to do it in the light. See, they they stole everything in the light. And I had to walk through that darkness that was done in the light. See, that's why I'm charging them with defamation, slander. Because everybody saw 
their crime and they thought it was my doing. See, so now I had to stay in my house with no lights, no water. So now <laughs> my family thinking I'm crazy, but I'm saying, according to the law, if I abandon this property, then I can't fight for it because I abandon it. So that's why you say, oh, he stayed in the house with no lights and no water for two years. But ask yourself, where was his people? Two years, eight months, I'm in a house where my wife and children and we all built and we was all in there happy and everything. And I'm in the house and I'm going to court with two cases, civil cases simultaneously at the same time I'm fighting them. Now, my friends and family members, some of them talking about how much money <laughs> that I'm asking for over a 15 year span where I done fought two civil cases simultaneously that I opened and several civil cases against me in two different courts. Then I had to open up a federal case to then um, catch all of these other people who put these sham cases, which is a sham pleading, which is frivolous lawsuits against me, aided and abetted by the judges in the state of Florida. Then my friends and family came and kept me from my wife. All on based on what they believe whether it's their belief in God or they believe in whatever they believe in, right? But I'm saying, well, if you can believe something about my life, when do you consult me about what I'm doing to survive my devil? I'm saying I didn't ask them for help. I'm telling them about the help that I thought I was giving my people. And I knew that it wasn't racist because I'm a union member, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a veteran. See, I'm uh, that's it. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not an atheist. I do not practice those things. You can't, you can't, People couldn't even really associate me with church. My my family would tell me, I would try to go to church. And my daughter told me, she said, Daddy, why you even go? Because I would go in and about five minutes, 10 minutes, I'm out of there. And they said, look at that. I mean, boy, they used to say, oh, the devil, he can't even stand the word. That's what they used to say. And now they can't even stand the word. <laughs> See, when I call them and want to talk about the Bible, they don't want to, I say, oh, so you can't stand the word now? But I'm saying, y'all, I'm saying, see, but y'all say, oh, he couldn't stay in church five minutes. I'm saying, when I'm living the crime, but see, if I would have said something before I could prove the crime that I was living, See, then, boy, I probably would have been in a mental hospital for real. But see, because I knew that I had beat them in court, then I knew that I had to lean on my military bearing. See, I had to follow my first command, and I already knew that I had charged them as unindicted co-conspirators. So see, that's why they keeping me out of court. But see, I'm saying to my family and friends, See, I'm saying if any of our children's 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 children are put in this same circumstance and you are not lying. See, so I'm, I'm personal. I'm showing my family that this is personal. See, because if you is now teaching your children that I'm crazy, what would your children do if their child is mean? And you and told everybody that what I'm doing is crazy. So now everybody in our family gonna think that now what's happening to your grandbaby is crazy. But see, 
I'm making a case with your ignorance so I can save that baby from my ignorant family. Now, they saying that that's something that may hurt their feelings. But I'm saying if it's true, then you can fix something that's ignorant. Because like I say, the definition of ignorant is, is not being aware. See, you don't know. See, it says ignorant of the fact. See, so that means that you unaware of what's happening. So I am now making you aware. So now you have the ability to then fix your understanding and take it from ignorant to an understanding of the facts see but see when you speak without knowing the facts then how are you not ignorant to the facts that you're not knowing so now here i because the fact is that i'm the victim as well as the lawyer for the vic for the victim then i had to become the judge who defended the Florida Constitution against the state of Florida. See, I'm saying, well, this crooked judge was a representative of the state of Florida. So when I had to take the Florida Constitution from the corrupt judge, then I had to judge every citizen in the state of Florida with my basic rights to my pursuit of happiness. See, you taking my life, even though you saying, well, we with you. I'm saying, but you starving me. That's against the Constitution. That's cruel and unusual punishment. And you charging me to starve me. See, I'm property of the state. You don't charge a prisoner who in prison when it's child time. So you have imprisoned me in the minds of your citizens because your citizens can't see the services that I'm providing them because of the abuse of the system that you have done from your position of authority. So that's what I'm saying. If I am speaking truth to power, then when do I give my truth to the powerless? So if I would have settled with who you think is powerful, then they would have settled out of court and then it wouldn't be a case against the corrupt judges. So then how would you know that these judges are violating the very constitution that they saying that they making rulings on if somebody don't use their rights in self-defense? See, if I let the if I would have allowed the judges to make me give up my rights, because even in um, that when they tried to give me a, a, a the misdemeanors, right? The judge asked me, "Did anybody make me uh, take this plea?" And I'm telling the judge, "Hell, you doing it? <laughs> you, you? I, I'm telling you, not guilty." I'm telling you, I want to go before a jury of my peers and you just gave me this kangaroo court and, and violated my rights and you just put me in criminal court. I'm saying, well, what about the civil matter? So now they have adjudicated me criminally guilty, but they haven't, they threw out the civil matter, but now they keep evicting me and I'm saying, well, when do you be charged with a crime against me? And I'm a citizen, a native of the state of Florida. I was born in Daytona Beach, Florida, in Halifax Hospital. So I'm a native. I was born under the protection of the Florida Constitution. So I'm in my birth state defending my birth right with my birth constitution 
Now, was you born in the state of Florida? See, now I can ask those, because I'm saying you have the right to move here, but you had to become a resident of the state of Florida. I never had to become a resident of the state of Florida, ever, because I was born a resident. See, even when I was in the Navy, I was in Pensacola, Florida. I never had to get residence in another state. Never. In my whole adult life, even when I was in the Navy, I was in Florida. I did boot camp in Orlando, Florida. Then I got stationed in, on the USS Lexington in Pensacola, Florida. I never left out of Florida, ever. Not in military. Now, when I was young, my mama them, but I wasn't, I was, I wasn't responsible. I was a kid. But ever since I was an adult, I did my military time in my homeland, in my home state. I did, like I say, boot camp in Orlando, Florida, and I did, uh, the rest of my time on the USS Lexington in Pensacola, Florida. See, so that's why it's so beautiful when I even look back. I'm saying, see, I, I've been defending the Florida Constitution ever since I was 18 years old. So, and I was uh, defending the United States Constitution because I, whatever state I was in, I was under that state constitution. So I've always been under the Florida state constitution. I've always been under it and I've never violated it. So now if I defended it with honor in the United States Navy aboard the USS Lexington ADT-16, right? And then I went into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida and defended my Florida constitutional rights and my United States constitutional rights with my Florida Bill of Rights and my United States Bill of Rights, which then allowed me to then use the United States Declaration of Independence for my independence, as well as the independence of Four Castles Incorporated and Chancey Incorporated. Why then am I not seen like the 13 states who was once the 13 colonists? See, I'm saying if I'm using the same historical footprint why then does the um the dish which freedom is the recipe of why i'm not getting the same uh flavor for my feet freedom as the founding fathers of the 13 states i'm saying i i, I started a company man and these people started a war and i had to fight the war with my constitutional rights and now I have lost my constitutional rights because nobody understand the spiritual war even though the Bible has told you about the power of the truth and then it even told you about the deception that made the truth so powerful. But now here is descendants of slaves want me to tell descendants of slaves a lie. Now, I'm saying, well, if I use the 16th president of the United States Emancipation Proclamation to free my ancestors' descendants from a financial slavery because you are indebted. Now, I could show where my wife and my, well, my two children never had no, no lights in their name like I did. No credit card, no no nothing. See, they they credit was, and they daddy built their mama credit while he built his own. See, that's what he trying to tell his wife. See, you had good credit even when you didn't have a job because I was using that one stream of income t 
to 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 blow up two credit lines. See, so I was a credit line, my wife was a credit line, then I was going to make my daughter a credit line and then my son cuz they was going to work for four houses. See, but I had my daughter working so she could see, see, like, but see, she didn't, she didn't have to pay no bills or nothing. So, so see, she had money. So to her, the job was freedom. But see, that's when I realized, man, it's backfiring on me. See what I'm saying? Because, but I don't want to um, have her pay because it's not, it's not her life. See what I'm saying? This is her mother and father's life. See what I'm saying? So you try to give your, I try to give my children a control struggle. See what I'm saying? Where I'm controlling the struggle. But see, but when you um controlling the struggle, then when they, all of their needs are met and then they got money to address their wants, then they don't understand the void. See what I'm saying? In between fulfilling your needs and then fulfilling your wants. See, then they'll realize the struggle is to tell yourself no for what you want. So you can then make sure you have everything you need. So that's what I'm telling you, you young kids, right? about me being a, a husband at 19 and a father at 20, I understood that my family needed health care, food, water, and shelter all together. See what I'm saying? So I couldn't take any kind of job. I had to take a job that gave health care because if my kid got sick or I got sick or my wife got sick, then I got a house payment, how I'm gonna pay for the house. We we got medical bills, this and that. So see, I'm showing you my plan for my life. Then I'm showing you how I executed the plan in my life. And then when my enemy came against my lifestyle, now I'm able to show you the plan. See, but now if you get jealous of the plan and then try to make me out to be gay or whatever, whatever y'all doing, like, I don't know. But I'm saying, what would you do if you cold and you buying clothes and the price is you could afford. So now do you look at the color or do you look at the need for the clothes? See what I'm saying? So I'm saying, see, you making me live like this cause you watching me. So that they call that guilty by association. So see, if all of y'all know who I am, then all of y'all are guilty of what's happening to me. Because if they say the state of Florida, and then everybody in the state of Florida know what the state of Florida is doing to me, but the state, but the no citizen in the state of Florida would then make the state of Florida give me back my rights because you want to control me too. See, so wouldn't you all be guilty of kidnapping me and my family? See, this is what I'm saying about the Hamas and the Israelite thing, right? I'm saying, well, okay, look, it's one person. You got my wife, my two kids. Y'all done tore us apart. Now you got all of y'all ideologies, your understandings, whatever you want. Now I'm your property. I'm whatever the hell you got going on that I can't get back with my wife and children. So now, wouldn't you all be like Moses saying he couldn't get into the promised land? Cause I'm saying I was already in the promised land and the, and the serpent threw me out of, the, of my garden of Eden. See, and I'm saying, well, look, man, see, he threw 
Adam out too, but you say it's the Lord God. I'm saying, okay, well, in this case right here, it's an evil person who violated my rights. Now, then the church leaders who I told that to tell me that they don't believe in the Constitution. But I'm saying, hey, man, in Romans, it says, follow the laws of the land. So, see, you're wrong. You're supposed to be astute in the laws as well as the scriptures. Now, here I am. I'm uh, knowledgeable about the laws, and now I'm being astute about the scriptures. I'm saying I'm a layman in your world, but I'm a scholar in the law. <laughs> See, I know the law backwards and forwards because I had to use the law to generate my lifestyle then I had to use the law to defend the life that I generated. See, so now, my mother and my father gave me existence. My wife gave me a reason. My daughter and my son gave me motivation to create an atmosphere that we can thrive in. So, when I learned how to turn a paycheck into um, a, a, a stream of income, see, by buying something that paid me to have it instead of me buying something that I got to pay for. So, see, in my ignorance, I used to buy, like I say, I had two Corvettes, right? But I had learned how to pay for the Corvettes and 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 um with um creative financing. So I used my credit, my wife credit, generated revenue, bought an asset, and then I always had a title that I could then consolidate because I had an asset and then trade that asset in, trade all that debt in. So instead of filing bankruptcy, see, I bought my wife another car. So I consolidated the debt. I put it into a negotiation on another asset. I lowered my debt to income ratio with the maneuver then I made the maneuver again with my credit and bought me another asset. So I always had a Corvette paid for, see, because of, my, of the way that I moved the money around. See, I always used my wife credit. See, I didn't use her body or her mind. See, I used her, her credit. So I use her credibility that I built simultaneously with my credibility. So then I'm not using her intellectual property. I'm using her credit rating. So see, if you look at when um, on August 4th in 2008, when I, I, you will see me talking about her credit rating and my credit rating, and for, see, I'm saying if I didn't say it on August 4th in 2008, how could I show it as being a, uh, an ingredient in this freedom's dish? See, I'm cooking my freedom as I enjoy the entree, right? But I can't afford... Um, the the um the ingredients of um of what you call prosperity see i had to escape the prison system and i had to use my intellectual property as collateral see like say if i um if they like when i when they did put me in jail but my cousin, he didn't ask me for collateral because he's my cousin. But I had to pay 
the bond, right? But say if my credibility, if I had messed up my credibility, then my bond would have been too high for me to even pay the uh, monetary value. But because my intellectual property allowed me to not have a bond that was was um, where I couldn't pay it. So I only had a $50 bond on one misdemeanor and a $50 bond on the other misdemeanor. See, that's what I'm telling y'all about when now they saying I got a $5 million lien on me. I'm saying, well, man, y'all had a $50 bond on me. Now, I had to pay that bond, and my cousin, he paid you. I, I fulfilled all of the obligations. I went to court, but you the court was the actual crime that the bond was illegal. See? So now I'm saying, well, hey, man, you gave me an illegal bond, and now 15 years later, you saying I owe you $5.8 million, and then the state of Florida saying I owe them five point one, almost $5.2 million. But I'm saying, well, you had me with a $50 bond that was illegal. But see, now they saying that I can't use the $50 bond that I paid plus the 400 and something, 400, almost $500 um, court costs that I had to pay to get my license reinstated. I'm saying, well, look at all these illegal fines here. Now, how did they get up to 5 million, uh, 5.2 million for the state of Florida in Daytona Beach? And how did they get to 5.8? in Pennsylvania, in the federal, how, how did I how did I get that kind of lien? So they done put uh, right at a $12 million lien on me. Now, I'm saying, well, okay, now, when I ask them, say, okay, you say I owe you this money, okay, I owe it to you, but you owe me 2018 tax return for $800 million. You owe me a 2019 tax return for almost $6 million. You owe me a 2020. Now, my friends were saying, man, you better leave them alone. And I'm saying, but you don't know the law, man. If I leave them alone, now look at the $12 million lien. So if I didn't put in the income tax returns like the law told me to do, how then would I have the income tax returns to pay off the illegal lien? And I'm saying, well, how is my income tax illegal when Amendment 14, Section 4 is what I'm using to show that these numbers is the all that you said you give on an income tax return. So I did not ask for more than you gave in that physical year. So if you took my year, I mean, if you took my year away from me and I'm in court fighting you and you as the judge getting paid, you as the bailiff getting paid, you as the court reporter, you as the governor, you as the senator, all of y'all are getting paid from the tax dollars. Well, why then does not my time that I'm using fighting uh, for uh, defending my constitutional rights with the Constitution, how then am I not entitled to an income tax return on the time that I'm spending defending myself from you who getting paid to violate my rights. So how do you get paid to violate my rights and I don't get paid to defend my rights with the Constitution? So I'm defending my rights and I'm defending the Constitution at the same time. So now, if I'm defending my rights with the Constitution, then what is the judge defending? What is the judges in those court proceedings 
If I'm defending my rights with the Florida Constitution and the United States Constitution, what Constitution are they using to take my rights? See, wouldn't they be aiding and abetting Bill Heard and stealing my 1980 Corvette? Wouldn't those judges be aiding and abetting the United States Postal Service and sending me zero checks for two years, eight months? Wouldn't those judges be aiding and abetting SunTrust Bank and stealing my home when they said that I didn't put an addition on the home? And you can clearly see that, that it's an addition on every, all my neighbors. Everybody knows that we put an addition on the home. So why should I act like I didn't accomplish something that I know I accomplished? Like, see how my friends can continue in their blindness for 15 years when I went in the courts and, and, and revealed revelations. I'm using revelations to show you that, that, that they are what was done in Revelations 12, they did in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, and they did not prevail, just like the devil did not prevail against Michael and his angels. The devil did not prevail against me and the Florida Constitution and the United States Constitution and the Florida Bill of Rights and the United States Bill of Rights and the United States Declaration of Independence and statutory law and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Ten Commandments, and the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran. See, those documents is with me. So now, well, who is standing against me that's not standing against what is believed to be God? Either it's Allah's words given to the Prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel, how can I not use those documents against you if you are not anti those documents? See, if I, how can somebody who don't read those documents to show himself approved, but he used the Florida Constitution to prove himself to be innocent beyond the shadow of a legal doubt, and then he went and got scriptures out of the Bible, just like the devil would go get case law to give me life. I went and got scriptures out of the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran to give me life, and you all keep starving me against all words of life. The Bible, the Quran, the Florida Constitution. So what do you really believe? if at the end you don't really believe nothing, right? If my truth can't set me free from what you believe, and if what you believe will starve an innocent man, how what you believe would allow you to feed a child? 